What's up, guys? I'm Luke. I'm Ainsley. And we are Screen Team. Today, we are going to do our second video game review. Um, it took us a while to finish this one because we had to restart it a couple of times. Uh, the thing didn't save very well. So, it kind of is a choose your own adventure. So, this story um, is kind of set up in kind of the same vein as the quarry and the fact that there are uh, a group of kids that go to a resort type place, cabin. I think one thing is you had to have a little more skill to play this one because you had to hit like the little triangle button, the square button, the circle button. You had to hit them all like within a very short amount of time and I have to look at those buttons to know where they are. <laughs> And so, that's our right. But yeah, I, I never got to do that on time. I know this isn't going to make any sense to you because you haven't played it. But the way that the the game is set up, as far as like you're talking about with the controls and stuff, I feel like it's very much like there's a a, a Walking Dead. There was like a, a Walking Dead anthology that was more based on the comics with a character called Clementine that um they kind of made up as kind of like almost a side story from the comic storyline with Rick Grimes and everyone. Um, and it was, it's very much like that, where you had to push the buttons in the right order. Uh, oh, ah. There it goes. Uh, then, we're not even gonna worry about okay. that. Now. Yeah. You, you see, see the game? Yeah. Hey, we don't wanna spoil everything for you, but be there, some of this like just completely terrifies Ainsley, so we can't even use some of the words because it just really, really, really like. Okay, if you want to, it starts with a W the big bad in this starts with the w if you want to know what it is go look it up for yourself i will not be saying the word lucas will not be saying the word <laughs> um and and that's just how it is there are a, a number of famous uh, and maybe they weren't as famous at the time but a lot of famous um like actors voicing some of the people in this movie. Yeah, so. you have Hayden Panettiere, um, Rami Malek, Nicole. Sakura, Nicole Sakura. You have Brett Dalton, Megan Martin, Galadriel Steinman, Noah Floss. There's quite a few um, people. people voicing in this. Um, and so the setup for the story is that... Um, well, it starts out... Um, a group of friends go up to this winter cabin that is owned by three of the friends, a brother and um, two sisters, their family. And um, they decide to play a prank on one of the sisters. And um, there's one of the boys or one of the friends that she likes. They have her go into her room and act like he likes her and wants to fool around or whatever. She gets her shirt off, realizes that the other friends are in the room recording them. They laugh at her, she runs off, her sister runs after both sisters go missing. Then it picks up like a year later, I think. And um, the brother who is Rami Malik um, decides to have all the friends back up again to the same winter cabin and calamity ensues. Uh, there's, there, there was some very, uh, I don't know. I feel like the the jump scares in this game were definitely more than the last one that we played. Um, yeah. Because there was like there were there were times where like we were both like really like I don't know like we're holding our breath for a minute because it was like you knew something was coming, and they all they did the timing so perfectly because you were expecting it, but they did it just at the right time that you didn't. Well, and they would also trick you because they would have like the music building and building and building, and then nothing would happen. But then at other times... Just out of nowhere, happen. yeah, just out of nowhere. There was one scene, and there's some twists in this game, I mean, besides the W word. Uh, besides besides that, like, there were some other twists in this game that I don't want to give away, like, the... Yeah. Because I want, like, if you're going to play this, I want you to experience it kind of the same way we did. Because everything's not always as it seems in this game. But there's a there was a very, like, in one of the chapters, there was a very, like, Saw-like thing where there were two people up on a wall and you as a certain character have to choose which one of them is going to die which I wonder what 
okay, knowing what we know now, mm-hmm. what would have happened if, because it was me that made the choice, if I had made the other choice? I well, wonder what would have happened. You would have felt really bad. Well, <laughs> you would have felt really bad. Knowing what we know, though, that yeah. certain things aren't always what they seem and all that, like, would the same thing have happened? Would, did, would, that have, would that have affected the story progression, right? Like, would that have affected, like, what happened in the story that we saw after that? We're not sure. There's still many outcomes that we haven't um, gone through. I'm, I'm thinking the W word stays the same. I'm sure, yeah. yeah. But... Um, there, which there which is why I don't think even like why I think even saying that is not really that much of a spoiler because I think you know it's that that's where you're gonna wind up at but as far as who survives and all that other stuff I think that um, and uh, one thing about this game though compared to the other one like there were some characters now I I like. Nicole Soccer, right? just so so like you know whenever like stuff happens to characters or whatever like in in the quarry like there were characters that we cared about and we were generally like we have to go back and like yeah. save the like we have to find a way to save these people and them not to die in this right in this one I kind of I mean I I mean we were making the decision so maybe we're just talking about ourselves but they seem like. <laughs> They were terrible. A lot of them were just terrible people. Which there were... We each had a favorite person. And in the end, which is my... I mean, besides the late hour, um, might have something to do with why we didn't play it through <laughs> other times. Because our two favorite characters are the ones that survived in the end for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, I I enjoyed the game. Like I said, I... I don't think I enjoyed it throughout as much as I did the quarry, but like I, there were elements of it that I enjoyed a whole lot, especially like I, the gore in it's pretty good. Um, the graphics on it are, I mean, it was made in 2015, so the graphics on it are really good. I feel like um, the the voice acting was good. I enjoyed this game. Uh, I. I I thought that uh, it had some really good elements to it. It's definitely playable. The replayability, I, I mean, if it was as good as the quarry, I would say that we would have wanted to dive right back into it instead of starting the other game after when we got done with it like we did. I will give it a good 2.5 stories because I would say it's, it's kind of right down the middle for me. Strictly for a couple of the scenes alone and the fact that it made me jump and that we were kind of like on the edge of our seats a couple of times there, I think I'm going to give it three. Um, and that was just, it, and that's strictly, I'm giving, it that, I'm giving it that extra half a star off of what you're giving me. Strictly because of those few times in the game. I enjoyed it while we were playing it. Some parts did seem tedious. The action would kind of go down for a little while and then it felt like we were doing more menial tasks in the game. So, um, you know, that's kind of an annoying feature um, where I I think they call it like fetch, you know, like go fetch or whatever. It's like where, like it's, they're just making you do stuff to fill up time in the game instead of like where it's giving you- an actual storyline progression. Yeah, I, I give them props for like trying to do stuff, for having, a horror film element to it so there were parts where not graphics wise but as far as like you know it was it was realistic enough for us to jump at a couple of things or get a little like gasp or whatever else or you know when we were to see somebody you know get chainsawed in half or something you know that it looked enough that it was at least as if I was looking in a comic book and seeing that and being like that's disgusting you know like so A little more cartoony, but still, you know, for the time realistic enough, I think that it was, that it, that it, it's disturbing to you enough that, you know, um, maybe you have some different opinions on it than we do. Maybe you don't think the W word is as scary as Ainsley does. Um, 
maybe you're wrong. No, uh, maybe, maybe uh, there are other games that you guys would like us to play. So if, if you agree with me on like, you shouldn't whistle at night type stuff, you'll agree with me on this. Okay. I mean, I don't, I'm not even sure of the lore of that. Uh, and I'm not going to explain it to you. You can look it up after I'm gone. We would really like it if you guys would uh, subscribe and like and share. Um, check out our Facebook and Instagram pages. Interact with us. Let us know what you think, whether we're really good or whether we suck. You know, whatever you think. We will catch you next time. I have been Luke. I have been Ainsley. And with our powers combined, we are... Scream Queen. Catch you guys later. Bye.